Today, we are tackling work rates. I know, but I have a really cool trick for you that makes doing work rates really fast and really easy. Like you're gonna be doing 700 level questions in about a minute. I also have a bonus gift for you. It's a set of work rate questions. It starts out easy, it gets progressively harder. Most of these are frankly 700 level questions, but don't worry because I break down each question step by step for you. If you can learn how to do this practice set, it's not gonna be any work rate question that Tess throws at you that you're not gonna be able to handle. It's yours for free. You can download it right in the description. Okay, let's get on to the lesson. I'm gonna show you this super helpful work rate shortcut and we're also gonna do some examples. This shortcut is incredibly effective when you're given the time it takes for everyone to do the job individually. And actually it's pretty common for them to give you that. So if you have that info, then you can use this formula. Make one fraction for everyone or every machine that's working. So if you've got two things working, make two fractions. And on the top of the fraction, put down how long it takes to do the job working together. And on the bottom of the first fraction, put the time it takes thing A to do the job alone. And on the bottom of the second fraction, put the time it takes thing B to do the job alone. Add the fractions together and set the whole thing equal to how much work you're trying to get done. And when we do an example, this is going to actually be very obvious and very intuitive. So let's do an example right now. Two painters are hired to paint a house. One painter can paint the house in three hours. The other painter can paint the house in seven hours. Working together, how long will it take the painters to paint the house? Okay, the first thing we always do is pull out what the heck we've been asked to find. And in this case, we've been asked to find time together. Now we also notice that we've been given each individual's time, which means we can use our shortcut. Okay, so we have two painters. So that means we're gonna make two fractions. We're gonna add those fractions together and set it equal to the amount of work we're trying to do, which in this case is one house. Okay, so how long does it take the painters to paint the house together? Well, we don't know. That's what we're being asked to find, the time together. So X goes in the numerator. The denominator of the first fraction is A's time alone. So it takes A three hours to paint the house alone. And the denominator of the second fraction is B's time alone, which is seven hours. All we do now is solve for X. The fastest way to add fractions on the test is to find the common denominator. In this case, it's 21 and multiply that denominator through the entire equation. And when you do that, you'll find you get 7x plus 3x equals 21, a little bit of simple algebra, you get x equals 21 over 10. Very nice job. Three painters are hired to paint a house. One painter can paint the house in two hours, one painter can paint the house in four hours, and the third painter can paint the house in six hours. Working together, how long will it take the painters to paint two thirds of the house? Okay, the first thing we always do is pull out what the heck we've just been asked to solve, and in this case, we're being asked to find time together. Next thing we notice is we've been given each individual's time, which means we can use our shortcut. Now, in this case, we have three painters working, so we're going to make three fractions. We're going to add those fractions together and set it equal to the amount of work we're trying to get done. And in this case, it's two thirds of a house. All right. The numerator is the time together, but we don't know what the time together is. That's what we're being asked for. So X goes in the numerator denominator is each individual time. So that's two, that's four, and that's six. Now the fastest way to add fractions on the test is to find the common denominator, in this case it's 12, and multiply that through the entire equation. And when you do that, you're gonna get six X plus three X plus two X equals eight, and X is gonna be eight over 11. So I can already hear some of you saying, well, hang on just a second. We're solving for two thirds of a house, but the individual times are in terms of painting one whole house. Turns out it doesn't matter. So long as the individual times are in terms of the same amount of work, in this case, each painter's time is in terms of one house, it won't matter. Okay, very nicely done. Pumps A, B, and C can fill an empty tank or drain a full tank in two, three, and six hours respectively. If pumps A and B are used to drain dirty water from a half full tank, 
while pump C is pumping clean water into the tank at the same time, in how many hours will the tank be empty? Okay, first step always, let's pull out what the heck we've just been asked to find, and we've been asked to find time together. All three pumps are switched on, and all three pumps are pumping at the same time. We need to find time together. Now we also notice we've been given each individual's time, which means we get to use our shortcut. Now in this case, we have three pumps, so we're gonna make three fractions, and we're gonna set everything equal to the amount of work we're trying to do. And in this case, we are trying to drain one half of a tank. Okay, so what is the time together? Well, we don't know, that's what we're being asked for. So the numerator is X. On the denominator, we have everyone's individual times, two, three, and six. Okay, so what do we do about this business of pumps A and B draining water while pump C adds water at the same time? Well, let's think about this a sec. Well, pumps A and B, like they're buddies, right? They're getting the job done. So we'll add those fractions together. Pump C, pump C isn't helping getting the job done. In fact, pump C is going the other direction. So we'll subtract C's fraction. Now all we have to do is solve for X. And we know the fastest way to do that is multiply through by the common denominator, in which case it's 12. And then we just do a little bit of algebra and we find that X equals three fourths. Very nicely done. This is actually a very tricky question. It's made very, very easy with our shortcut. So some of you are probably asking, well, does this come up a lot on the test? And the answer is, yeah, it's not that uncommon for them to give you each individual's time. And the shortcut works when you have each individual time. Now, one caveat, you have to be given each individual's time in terms of the same amount of work. In other words, you need painter A paints one house in two hours. Painter B paints one house in three hours. The shortcut doesn't work if painter A paints one half of a house in two hours and painter B paints three eighths of a house in three hours. But almost always, when they give you each individual's time, they almost always give it to you in the same amount of work. So that means that the shortcut, yeah, it's dead useful and it definitely comes up on the test. Okay, very nice job. Okay, great job. Remember, anytime you're in a work rate question and they give you everybody's individual time, you can probably use the shortcut. Also, don't forget about your free bonus gift. That's that set of work rate questions that I break down step by step for you. It's yours for free. You can download it right in the description. Okay, great work. We'll see you next time.